Afternoon diehards, I just want to check in. This is going to be a multiple sports video. Two injuries for the Red Sox that I uh, kind of neglected talking about the sweep of uh, Kansas City. Christian Vasquez broke his pinky. He's out six to eight weeks, which means San Leon is going to have to carry the catcher's role. And this could be a good thing for Blake Swihart because he actually gets a chance to be the backup catcher and he will see a lot of playing time in those two months to a month and a half. So the Red Sox right now do not need to make a trade for a catcher and just give Swihart another chance at being able to rake and hit the ball. Brian Johnson also is on the DL, which is why they don't have a pitcher scheduled to go tomorrow. I believe it's going to be Velasquez, but they also called up a kid named Brian Brazier, who he could start in a spot start tomorrow against Texas. Now, the reason for this video is the Eric Carlson rumors and craziness. Three days ago, Eric Carlson was rumored to go to the Tampa Bay Lightning, which would be ridiculous because they would have probably three out of the top five defensemen in the NHL on their team. Now, cap space. Right now, the Lightning are at $70 million in cap space, which means they have a million dollars free. Carlson's cap hit is 6.5. The NHL is not like the NBA. You can't pay a luxury tax. It's not like the NFL, where you can't go over, cut down by a certain date, and get under. You have to stay at $71 million. So, here are some of the names that could be on the move if they decide to make this trade. Ryan Callahan. A lot of rumors saying that he could go back to the Rangers. His cap hits at 5.8. Andrej Palat, another big time forward for them. 5.3. Tyler Johnson has a no movement clause, but he is a $5 million cap hit. One of these players, or two, could be on the move. However, when Pierre Dion said that he was going to trade Eric Carlson, Bobby Ryan's $7.5 million cap hit was going to be involved in the trade. If so, a third team would be involved, like the Rangers, who would take Callahan's money, and then they could maybe give Sergachev and some other young guys over to Ottawa to make the cap hit, uh, to make the cap space work. I'm not saying this isn't going to get done. It looks like it's going to get done. Vegas is a, a dark horse in this because they have cap space. But the young talent of Yanni Gord, Miguel Sergachev, and Braden Point, and um, Sorelli, there's a lot of good young players on Tampa that could be dealt. I do think this does get done, however, it's going to cost Tampa Bay more than just a couple of AHL prospects, which I think that was amongst the belief of everybody when this first happened. Look, if Carlson goes to the Lightning, they're the, the front-runner, they're the team to beat in the NHL because having Eric Carlson, the, probably the best defenseman in hockey, offensively anyways, um, makes them a powerhouse. You know, I like Drew Doughty better, but you can debate that. They're both really good players. And um, I consider Charlie McAvoy our guy the next Drew Doughty. I think in three or four years you're going to say, wow, he's that good. Carlson probably will be a Lightning at some point, but there's a lot of work that still needs to be done, like I just said. Stay tuned. You know, fingers crossed if you're a Bruins fan that it doesn't happen because that's a team you're going to have to go through in your division. And, you know, you don't want Carlson on that team for many reasons because A, he hurts us, and B, putting him on Tampa just would make it, you know, almost unfair. But stay tuned. Talk to you more when it happens or if it does. Have a good night, Dad. I'll talk to you after the Red Sox, Texas. By the way, Danny Valencia just hit a three-run homer, giving the Yankees, giving the Orioles a five-four lead in the sixth. Go O's. Talk to you soon.